Hey guys, this is um, OJB uh, with Bat Marketing, um, and this is PE tip number 21. And today we're going to talk about uh, how wearing the size genetic extender for four hours a day really can add up quickly. So this is a this is my routine. This is a very basic size genetic routine. It's just show. I'm just trying to show you. Um, the minimum I think you should be able to do easily and I because I have a very busy work schedule and I manage to hit this pretty pretty consistently guys um, now I've averaged it all out so um, some of you can probably do better than this some of you might have better some days that are better than others and other, like I said some of you might be able to blow this away okay um, so here here's the objective guys this this is the objective um, originally I said Every 50 hours, increase the tension. I think that's a little too quick. I think it should be, um, now that I've been using it for two months, I think um, every 100 hours is more appropriate. When you're first starting out, like I said, have no tension, the 50 hours is fine. But right now, I've gotten enough tension on it right now that um, sometimes I feel a little fatigued. Like I can't wear it more than, like say, four hours, okay? Um, and that that's the sign that that's telling me I, I've hit a I've hit a spot where I need to spend more time I'm probably gonna finish this last 50 hours up and then I'm gonna just increase the tension just a little bit just a tiny little bit and this next tension I'm gonna start doing a hundred hours so um, just to recap if you're brand new and you haven't really figured out how the tension works so you're not using you're not used to wearing it use 50 hours like 50 hour increments and then increase the tension. I have a video um, how to add tension. Go check it out. Um, but after after you get start feeling the stretch a little bit more, and you will feel it. Um, basically, the skin gets a little agitated. Not like painful, but you you just feel the stretch. Start doing it in 100 hour increments, guys. And I'm going to show you how quickly this really adds up. So uh, this is my schedule right here. You should be able to see it on the screen. So. I count Saturday as my first day of the week, right? I know some people count Sunday or Monday their first day of the week. For me, Saturday is the first day of the week, okay? Uh, so Saturday, if you did it for four hours every day, so Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, um, and then take, I give Friday. You don't need a rest day, guys, but I, I, I recommend at least one day where you just don't have it on, just, you know, let the let the penis heal up completely. Like, have a day where just you don't do anything, um, so everything heals up, okay? Um, but that would be 24 hours in a week, okay? And I'm sure, guys, in some days, like on a Saturday or Sunday, you can get that extra hour in to get to 25, all right? So let's just say you, you snuck in an extra hour somewhere in the week, so you got to 25 hours. In a month, that's 100 hours, guys, okay? So in a year, that would be 12 tension increases, okay? Now, some of you might be like, oh, man, it's going to take forever to get me. Um, I can do it faster. I could do it slow. Some of you might think you could do it fast, and some of you might say, "Oh man, I need like two hundred hours, three hundred hours," um, and that might be true. You you might get to a tension, guys, where it's like, "Man, I need to wear this thing for like three months before I can add any more on." Okay, the the point isn't. I mean, the point is, um, the point isn't trying to get as done as quickly as possible or trying to max out as quickly as possible. I mean, it is, but if if you go crazy, you'll quit. It'll get too painful, right? The the cons the idea is to do a little bit every day, while 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 trying to increase when you can, um, to get to the end result. So basically, the fastest way to get somewhere is sometimes doing it the slowest method. Okay, um, like I said, a lot of people try to jam it all in and then they 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 just quit because they don't see the results after three weeks or it gets too discomfortable. Whatever whatever the case. Um, and I want to use an analogy, guys. So I, I said, tw so you're increasing the tension like once a month, right? Let's just say every month you increase the tension. Maybe it, some months you get 200 hours in and you just do that. Every month, as long as I got 100 plus hours, I'll increase the tension. Um, if you did that at the gym, think about that. If I added five pounds to all to my, to my any exercise every month, by the end of the year, you would have had 60 pounds more to your lift, okay? And if you did that across like 16 exercises, that's a lot of weight. That's a lot of weight you just upgraded, okay? You're going to see those results. Same thing with here. If you add 12 tension increases, and you might do better, you might do worse. I might, like, don't take these numbers as gospel, guys. But the point is, if you if you just kept doing the hours and adding tension when you can, 
as long as you stay consistent, it would add up very, very quickly, okay? And like I said, four hours a day, guys, that's, that's not hard. So I get, let's say I get home from work at four, take a shower. So at 4.30, I throw it on. From 4.30 to 8.30, I have it on. Sometimes I can wear it to 9.30, maybe get that extra hour one day. Um, that's pretty easy, guys. That's really, really easy, okay? And if you have an office job where you can wear this all day, it, it's easy in that. Um, so... I, I want to be clear. I want to. I want to get this point go across, though, guys. Like, like, um, just so you understand, though. Let's say somehow you were able to get a hundred hours in, like, like you're wearing it for ten hours a day, right? Let's say you you were capable of wearing it ten hours a day, and you got ten out. Um, you were, in ten days, you were able to hit the hundred hours. That doesn't necessarily mean you should increase. Okay, I, I don't want you to try like, oh, I need to jam twelve hours a day so I can keep adding. The idea, the idea is here, guys, is um, like every hundred hours, just test, just test it. Be like, oh, I had attention and I, I'm able to do it. And it feels fine. Okay, you're good to go. Or maybe you had a little bit of attention and be like, I can't do it. It just I can't get it on. Or after like a half hour, it's just too painful. You take the tension off and you do another hundred hours. Or you um, increase the tension through the tension bar on the device, like not the adding, but like the the spindle. Again, go see the video if you haven't seen how they add tension to your uh, S size to next extender. Uh, but like I said, guys, the, the purpose here isn't to add. Um, the purpose here isn't to just add as much tension as quickly as possible. The purpose here is just to get hours under tension. Okay, I want you to think I, I need hours. Okay, and I'm gonna increase the tension when it's fine. Okay, like I said, I think 100, every hundred hour uh, increments to test out if you can go higher or not is fine. Like let's say you do 10 days and you add another little tension ball, like a like a 3 16th of an inch. Okay, do another 100 hours. Maybe this time you're like, I don't think I, I can only add like a little bit, like an eighth now. I can't add another 3 16 That's fine, guys. This stuff will add up quickly, right? Like I said, I, I've seen videos, I've seen photos, we've all seen photos with, the, or I have, with the people with the SG extender on and they're like stretched out like, they're stretched out like this thing, guys. They're stretched out like my like my little like reminder of what I'm going for here, right? And you're like, oh man, I gotta do that right away. No, no, no. You want to start like the stretch here, and then slowly, slowly, every hundred hours, just try to increase it until you get the stretch here. All right, guys. So don't don't be in a race, okay? And like I said, four hours a day is not hard. Like on the weekends, I. Like, uh, just on this weekend, as the making of this video, yesterday I was able to do it six hours, today I have, I'm going for seven hours, right? So, right there, I got 13 hours in two days, right, guys? For, if you did four hours, that would take you, like, three, three days and, uh, like, a fourth, a little bit in a fourth day. So, um, but, so, like I said, some days you're gonna have more hours than others, it's fine, it's fine. I just, I would aim for the four hour minimum, guys. But don't get discouraged if you get home, like let's say you get home late one night from work at 6 o'clock, you take a shower and you're like, oh, I got two hours, I can only get wear it for two hours. We're going to wear it for the two hours, okay? Just keep working at it, keep trying to add up the hours. And like I said, every 100 hours, test it. It doesn't mean you have to increase it, just test it, see what happens, okay? Um, so like I said, so in a, so in a year, uh, guys, um, in a year, guys, that would be uh, 1,200 hour, uh, 1200 hours. Um, and uh, a lot of people, um, just to give you a cons, uh, an idea, um, if you wanted to do this um, like a work day, like uh, like 2,000 hours, which is a work year, um, you'd have to go to five hours a day with trying to sneak in like a few extra hours in the week. Um, that might be a little bit harder for some people. Uh, that's why I don't go for 2,000 hours. But... Um, like I said, guys, just try to keep getting the hours. Try to keep doing adding tension every hundred hours, and just just play with it, okay? So, like I said, basically today's tip is um, have have a game plan, have a goal. You, you want, like I said, um, have a schedule is basically what I'm saying, guys. Have a schedule, have a routine, okay? Um, and uh, like I said, I have a rest day in here. I still get 25 hours. And like I said, there are people out there, guys, that wear this thing like, they probably wear 100 hours in a week. I don't know how, but they probably do it. Um, don't, like I said, don't get discouraged by just little increments, okay? Like I said, do what you can. Stick to a schedule. Try to uh, try to get to that, try to get to that, um, 
benchmark, whatever, how many hours you think it is. Um, which I'm going to have a video on what your benchmarks should be. Um, and uh, coming up, but that, that's that's to my message today for the guys. Um, have a schedule, a routine and, uh, and schedule that you stick to. This is mine. Like I said, I have six days on, one day off. And I try to go for four hour minimums each day. Okay. And every hundred hours, I try to increase the tension just a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay. Like I said, um, if, if you did like an eighth inch, guys, every, every, um, if you were able to increase an eighth inch every month, at the end of the year, um, you would have gained, um, an inch and a quarter in, in how much stretch you can get. And you that might, equal gains too. I'm not saying it will equal gains, but I'm saying just in terms of your stretch, that's quite a bit, guys. Like, if you try to stretch out your penis by hand, and let's just say you got it to six inches, and you wore this device for a year, um, and you were able to do like seven and a quarter stretch then, that's that's pretty good, guys. That's really good. Like, some people would kill to be able to do that. So don't don't get discouraged by the um, little eighth inch increments that you're, you're making, okay? Because that will add up as the year goes on, okay? So I hope you found this video helpful. If you do, leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment about, um, and I'll try to make it, if the, if the comment is related and I have like a lot of experience in what your question is, I'll try to answer it. Also, guys, check out the blog. I just opened a blog. We're going to, um, It's it, there's not much on it as of this video, but I'm going to be building it out. Um, I'm gonna have videos on the blog that you cannot, you will not see on the YouTube channel. Okay, I'm gonna say that again. There will be eventually videos on the blog that are not posted that you can't access from YouTube. Right, you can only access them from the blog. So that will be coming. Um, but check it out. It's in the the blog is in the description. Leave a comment and say hey. Saw your video on uh, YouTube. Thought I'd say hi. Stuff, stuff, stuff is good. Alright guys, I'll see you tomorrow for your next PE tip.